Good morning. Which night was the best night in the life of Peter the Apostle? Today we're looking at Mark chapter 14, verses 66 to 72. Now as Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came. And when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked at him and said, You also were with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you are saying. And he went out on the porch, and a rooster crowed. And the servant girl saw him again and began to say to those who stood by, This is one of them. But he denied it again. And a little later, those who stood by said to Peter again, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean, and your speech shows it. Then he began to curse and swear, I do not know this man of whom you speak. A second time the rooster crowed. Then Peter called to mind the word that Jesus had said to him, Before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. And when he thought about it, he wept. This might seem counterintuitive, but the best night in Peter's life was the night he betrayed Jesus. It seems counterintuitive, I know, but this was the night that Peter learned who he was. And so this was, in fact, the very best night of Peter's life. It was the most painful night, but it was the best. Let's look at it. So, so Peter had said, I will not deny you. And Pete, Jesus had told him, yes, you will. So first of all, there's a denial. He denies he was even with Jesus and, or that he even understands what the questioner is saying. And then comes the second denial. And his fear is, is growing and growing. And finally comes the third one, which says, you know, look, you even, you're even you using the same language. Surely, you know, you're, you're one of them. And at this point, he just completely loses it. And he begins to swear and curse and deny that he is with Jesus. And that's when the rooster crows, you know, the second time. And he remembers at that time, it comes to his mind, that Jesus had told him that he would deny him that night. And so he hears the rooster crow, and he remembers, and he goes out weeping and just, just bitterly, bitterly comes to himself, recognizing that Jesus had prophesied correctly and that he, Peter, was indeed that lame of a follower at that time. This was the night when he saw himself at his most wicked. He came to know who he was, and he gave himself completely to Jesus. We don't know ourselves until we know Jesus, and we don't know Jesus really until we know ourselves. So this was an important revelation for Peter. At least we don't know the depth of the depth of evil to which we can fall and the height of blessing to which God is ready to give when we turn to him. The best days of our life when we turn to Jesus, no matter if it's po there's poverty or persecution, the best days will be the days that we're following Jesus closely. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for putting this on record, this terrible, terrible experience of Peter. But it was needful, and you brought him to your heart and gave him eternal life through his willingness to submit completely to you. Thank you for Jesus, our Savior. Please, Lord, help us to to not have an undue confidence in self. Help us to trust in you for all the good things you want to give us. Thank you, Lord, for being so good to us, undeserving though we are. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray that like Peter, you've been broken on the rock. Learn to distrust yourself and to trust in Jesus. Have a wonderful day as a follower of Jesus. God be with you. Hey, if you're appreciating these devotionals, put a comment, uh, subscribe, put a like on there, and that increases the likelihood of people finding these devotionals in the search rankings. Thank you so much.